Here's going to be a very quick demo of our BFL system. I'm going to whiz through all the features so you don't have to watch for too long, but you'll get the idea of what it's capable of. Every school gets its own system. It's all cloud hosted, so you don't have to worry about setting up servers or anything like that. All we do is install a very small piece of software onto your MIS server, which does the synchronization. After that, it's all hosted, so you don't have to worry about any side of that at all. You'll get your own URL, you'll get your personalized login page. If you've got a learning platform, we may be able to single sign on from the learning platform for you, so there's no remembering usernames and passwords. Usernames and passwords are all Active Directory based anyway, so it is purely one username and password. Once you've logged in, you get a dashboard. If you've got a tutor group, it will show you what's going on with the students from your tutor group, so tonight's and any recent ones. So this is sitting tonight, recent ones, and kind of a table of what's going on across your tutor group this ac academic year, so you can see. All of these tables are sortable. Wherever you see these, you can sort them by any of those categories. On the right-hand side, you get the ones that you've given. So as a teacher, you can see which detentions you've given, which ones have been sat, which ones haven't been sat. It's just useful information to know that things are happening with any C3s that you've given. It's super simple for a teacher to add a C3. There's two ways, basically. You can go to an individual student and search for them. So if we search for Emma, and you click Add C3. It auto-populates with today's date, what time of day it is, who you are, and it picks poor behaviour by default just because it's the most common one, but you, again, you've got this list. This list is totally customizable by yourselves, so you can add to that or remove that or any reasons you might want to use instead can be done. Again, all the terminology is changeable. We use C3 for detention. You could use B3, you could just use detention, whatever you want to use. It's all customizable very easily. You can issue C3 and there you go. It tells you it's issued and that's it, you're done. It adds it to the list. The other way you can do it is by picking a group. So say I'm in my tutor group and I want to see the whole class, there we go. And I can add C3 via that way. Let's just say for being late, done. It couldn't be easier to add one. So most of your staff, that's all they will ever get to do because you just want them to add detentions and nothing else. It's po possible to plug praise into this. All the features in this system are turn on and offable, so you don't have to have them. They can easily be turned off. But if you want to use it as a praise system, it's again very easy to do. You just pick a reason and add a praise simple as that. So that goes into a praise log so you can very quickly tot up praises among students. But again, you don't have to have that feature at all. So that's pretty much what most of your teachers will see. There's obviously a lot more it can do for your admin team and your senior team might want to have more features. So if we go back to an individual student, you can see there's more stuff here. Uh, C4 is any incidents relate to a day in isolation so you can log those as well it's exactly the same thing those are only addable by our behavior team you can use it as an incident log so any incidents around school or any intervention you're trying to put in place as well can be logged through here as well and it all looks pretty much the same this has an email thing so if you want to include other people in this ongoing intervention you can do that and that emails to that staff automatically when you've added an intervention or an incident so they know about that. All the data in here is linked from your MIS system. So whether that's CMIS or SIMS, that is fine. We're also working with ISAM and a couple of other MIS at the moment. So if you have one of those, we can do that for you as well. On this screen, as a, as a power user, if you like, you also get the ability to switch between different things so you can see what's going on, you can see what praises they've had, see what incidents they're involved in, what interventions they're involved in. Everything is exportable and printable, so you can either print everything that Rosie's had this year or since she's been at the school, or you can export it to a CSV file and do further analysis on it. 
Also, you can hold, so say Rose is going to be off for a couple of weeks for some reason, you don't want to keep popping up on the register and have to mark her as absent. You can just put her on hold so she won't be technically on the system until she's back at school. When she's back at school, you can unhold her and then she'll start sitting detentions again. So that's another good feature. The registers is a very useful thing. Obviously, you'll be sitting detentions on a night of the week. You want to be able to mark those. It tells you if you've not marked any registers. It tells you how many registers you've got pending. All of these are historical now, purely because it's a demo system. But if I go through and perhaps mark this one, so this is Thursday 14th, I've got two to sit. You can mark them as present, mark them as absent, and you're done. There's no save button, there's no further things to do. As soon as you click that, it's done. If they're marked as present, the C3 will be marked as present and it won't appear again. If it's marked as absent, it will shuffle that C3 to the next time they can sit at detention. Whether you sit detentions once a week or five times a week, we can add that into the system so we'll automatically go to the right place at the right time. It won't go to the back of a queue, it will shuffle them all along so the most, the furthest away detention will always be sat next. And again all of this is printable exportable. You can either export it to a CSV again, you might want to import it into your texting system to send the text to parents, which is what we do here. However, we've added a feature to send the text automatically, so you'll, you get a send text button. And that sends a text to all the parents saying that, that their student has got a detention on this in this day. Uh, you can also print it, signing sheets and collection lists. Signing sheets are so students can sign off to say they've received a detention, the collection list enables BMT to know where that student is, if they're in school, what room they're in. So if you do want to go and collect some students before detention that night, you, you know exactly where they are, if they've been marked as present, and you can take that with you. So that's the registers. Again, very, very simple. If you make a mistake, it's all undoable. It tells you here there's two pending to, to be marked. So that's the register. The last thing really uh, is the analysis. The analysis is, again, quite extensive very friendly you can um, have it with any day sets so f between dates this academic year past three months past 30 days whatever so you can see so if we look at the past three months say we've got options for each of these so students with pending so you can see who's due to sit a detention students who haven't had any so you may want to award those students who have had no C3s during a certain period see staff by periods which staff have given what uh, again the same and there's a lot more there you can see the same with C4s same with praises so you've got reports for all of those every single one of those reports is exportable again to a CSV file so if you want to do further analysis on a report you can do that every single one of those reports is printable And you can also, if you if you have colleges or houses, we can group by those. So you can see an overview for each head of college, for say. If you don't want to, then you simply turn that off and you just get a whole list. And again, if you don't want the graphs, you can turn those off. So that's the analysis. Absolutely everything, like I said, is exportable. If there's still not enough there for you, in this option we have more stuff. Um, you've got export data. Now this literally exports absolutely everything into a huge spreadsheet. So if you really want to do some in-depth analysis, something we haven't covered, you get it all in the spreadsheet and you re can really uh, pick it apart that way. Uh, and also in these tools is management. The system's designed for you to manage it yourself. Uh, once it's hosted in the cloud, the idea is you can just get on and manage it yourself and it's very, very easy to do. Uh, so you can log out, change your own password, there's a guidebook here. We said export data, exports everything. Email reports is who those, uh, we've put fixed reports in here, so there's a daily report, daily report to colleges, weekly report, a yearly uh, a report for each year group. So your head of year might want to report by email that what's going on, rather than have to go and look in the system, they just get an email and it shows them who in that year has got a detention that day, same with a daily one go to anybody who might want to see what's gone on in that day so it's just another way of getting the data through by email 
under the system settings you've got very different things you can change your school name you can change when you want your C3s to be sat uh, if it's a week two you might want a different rotor to your week one use collection list you can sort by room by tutor you can list your categories so if your periods change are different that's fine if your behavior reasons are different you can change those your bullying incidents are different you can change so it's very simple it's all in the same thing you just go in add them and away you go okay so the idea is you can totally manage this yourself and finally user management very very easy to do you can add add manually add users like I said if you've got an active directory they'll automatically come in anyway but you can add custom users, you can add individual users, you can upload your student photos via here as well. It's very simple by just uploading a JPEG and that will match them to the student and your groups of emails. So if you want to add groups of emails for the um, when you're sending an incident, you can actually create a group of people for an email rather than add them all individually, you can create your groups, groups in there. So that's a very, very quick overview of what it's capable of. Any questions, please get in touch.